Now, so we're going to solve these two equations. Negative 9x equals negative 36, and negative 7 times y equals negative 28. And just as a quick refresher, I'm going to give you all a nice easy one that we can all do, which is this. 2 times some number equals 10. And I want you all to write down the answer. Just think about it. Don't even solve it. Just like, what would that be? 2 multiplied by what number gives 10? What number would you plug in there? Everyone just write it down. And I hope we all reckon it's probably got to be... 5. What? Right. Yep. And so the answer is 5. And so if I was solving that, I would say x is being multiplied by 2, so to get it on its own, I'm going to divide by 2. And if I divide the left by 2, must divide the right by 2, that makes 1x, or just x equals 10 over 2, 5. And so that is our method for solving these guys. We divide by the whatever the, the letters being multiplied by. So x is being multiplied by negative 9 here, so we need to divide by, everybody write it down, negative 9. And if you divide the left by negative 9, you must also divide the right side by the same number, negative 9. Now, on the left, it's negative over negative positive. 9 over 9 is 1, so it's positive 1x, which is just x. On the right, negative over negative positive. 36 over 9. 4. So x equals positive 4 or x equals 4, same thing, right? And everybody at home, please press pause on the video and do this one real quick. Just write it down. And anybody watching, just go ahead and figure that one out, and then I'll do it quickly. We good to go? Hope good you all go. good to go. So y has been multiplied by negative 7. Divide by negative 7 on both sides to get y equals negative over negative, positive, 28 over 7, 4. Done. And I'm going to check it because, look, negative 7 times positive 4, which is our answer, should be equal to negative 28. So this is me checking it. And you'll see that negative 7 times 4 is, in fact, negative 28. So it does indeed work.